let me cover this in two buckets. One is the green piece and the second is the manufacturing piece. So, uh, the design piece is largely similar to, I would say, software industry uh, because we need that similar kind of talent. Uh, here we need people uh, who understand electronics and uh, for all the reasons, uh, electronics, basic electronics is a subject uh, in the first year or second year uh, of engineering. So all engineers would typically have some exposure to electronics. Uh, then uh, there are microcontrollers or ICs involved. You need an ability to program that. So that's an embedded engineering uh, kind of a skill set that is required. Then there are skill sets such as designing a PCB, uh, understanding about which component should go into the circuitry. Uh, so skill set around electronics, skill set around programming, I would say uh, is is a very good uh, factor for selection uh, on the design side. And it's not just electronic design because as I said earlier, it is IoT something which is bringing everything together. There is a hardware, software, cloud integration, everything together. So we also need software engineers. We also need a cloud engineers. So that's, I would say, a design area uh, kind of skill set. Purely, I would say, diploma engineers or um, or uh, uh, postgraduate engineers or graduate engineers in the field of electronics, mechanical, uh, computer, uh, definitely will make sense. Say when telecom. Uh, second area is on the manufacturing side. Uh, right. so here, uh, uh, we have uh, manufacturing uh, plant heads uh, who are basically managers who spent 15, 20 years uh, who have grown from uh, even soldering a component uh, or carrying out assembly activities of a product. So there are I ITI um, engineers, uh, ITI kind of stream is there. After 10, uh, there is some kind of a vocational training that is taken up. So what uh, are the people whom we employ uh, for carrying out assembly work, sorting work, uh, who work in the area of building a mass scale units. Uh, then uh, we have uh, supply chain engineers who are working with various suppliers to procure a particular component, uh, who also have skill set of negotiation, uh, managing the inventory, warehousing. Then the third bucket would be uh, SMT engineers. So, so the whole process uh, uh, of mounting of components onto the PCB is called as an SMT process, surface mounting technology. So we, there are some specialized engineers who, care, who are capable of handling such kind of an activity because every electronic device would need to undergo this kind of an SMT process. Sure. So there are special uh, engineers who can perform that activity. Uh, then custom duty, packaging, uh, handling, uh, all those are some other segments when it comes to mass scale manufacturing. So those are the buckets I would put a design area, which is purely engineering driven. And uh, on the manufacturing side, which is a multidimensional skill set around manufacturing and um, uh, supply chain management and customs. And also a layer, uh, which I would put as a business layer, which is aspects related to sales, related to marketing, market research, business development. Uh, partnership, alliances, strategy, uh, uh, and, and these kind of, they cut across. Now, this is the layer when it is very easy for other industry to come and play a role, uh, who do not have a strong, I would say, an embedded uh, experience. So that's an entry point for someone who is very in, uh, interested, has got a lot of experience already in other industries, but want to enter into manufacturing, that's a space. But someone who is... Uh, who is new, who is a student right now and wanting to choose a path, I would put them across uh, in these two buckets, one on the design side and one on the manufacturing side. So I, I, I like the way you kind of really fleshed this out in a lot of detail, you know, and uh, while the industry is growing, it, it really needs qualified people. What you've done is you've systematically broken it down into two buckets, having that extra support layer, which is the business functions uh, of sales, marketing strategy, business development, but you've done a really good job in detailing what you would need on the design side, what you would need on the manufacturing side. So I'd like to say a big thank you. And I think to the listeners and viewers who are tuning into this show, uh, I'm sure they'll really appreciate uh, a very deep dive that you've done, this deep dive that you've done, talking about how the people, the industry needs people and the kind of skill sets and the kind of backgrounds that uh, you know would be required. So that's really nice. 
awesome awesome and, and one message that i would like to give to someone who's sure sure aspiring uh, or or is on the verge of selecting an industry uh, is to get your uh, industry right to get uh, um, get the area of work right because uh, don't go after salary or um, uh, or or the perks that you might get uh, in some of the large companies but if you want to create an impact if you want to enjoy what you're doing and continue to do that uh, in 15 20 25 years of your career then it is important to choose the uh, right industry and and the right role uh, don't go after salary that's my message to young people because salary will always pick up uh, you know in 4 5 years you will always be on an average or higher but if you're liking what you're doing uh, you will you will enjoy your work so that's the message that i want to give to students uh, who are on verge of selecting a career